Okay, folks, I'm getting ready to go pick the dandelions now. I'm trying to find a steady spot and I'm having a hard time. I've got my I've got my colander right here. Hard to see, but come along. Let's see what we can find here. We got a lot going on here trying to find a spot. I got my bug baffler on, my tops and my bottoms. The black flies are terrible here. I found a dirt pile. Let's see if this will do. Don't mean to keep jiggling you around, but I also don't want this to fall over and break my camera. You know what? Might just have to stick you in the dirt. That's what I'm going to do. I'm sticking you right in the dirt. There. Let's see if we can bring you down. This is the old farmhouse and the old farm wall. There, here we go. Got my colander. I got some gloves here, but at the moment, I don't seem to need them. And what we're going to do put this down right here and we're just gonna start picking the heads and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these yet because I haven't yet decided myself so we got double trouble that just showed up here we'll get the blossom tops I'm not sure if I'll do the petals yet Okay, folks, here's some dandelions, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to... I'm just going to take the petals out right now. I'm going to take it like this. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I cannot go downstairs to get my dehydrator. So Ray's going to have to get it when he gets home because I cannot lug that up with my knee at this point. And we have the green that's left right here. And that's what it looks like, the petals. And I'm going to put this on parchment paper. Um, this time go this time go around. But I'll be doing it different ways and I'll show you. Um, I'm gonna put some in the dehydrator. I'm gonna put some with the buds fully budded. Um, what I'm gonna do is put them in the dehydrator like this and they'll dry, they'll dry right up into a bud form. But that's all I'm doing right now. And I'll have to get back to you and show you more. And this will take me probably a couple of hours, just what I picked. So it is tedious work. It does take time. So if you think it's quick, no. Think again. Ray just can't believe how much time it does take to do this. Okay, I'll bring you back when there's more to show you. I'll give you a clear view. I've done four. And that's all it gives you right there. Give you a close. Whoa, I don't want to lose it. Close up. And this is what I got to go. Okay, we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, it took me like two hours to get this amount done. And I am going to use the dehydrator on these that I have left, which isn't a whole bunch. Let me push this over. So I'll bring you back and show you when they're on the dehydrator. Okay, I have done one tray right here and I have parchment paper that I cut out and made my own design to fit on. And here's a few more right here going on, just like this. And I'm gonna start it for 30 minutes. I don't have a thermostat on my dehydrator, but Ray just informed me he's buying me a new one. So yippee for me. 
So I'll bring you back when they're all done. Okay, I just thought I would show you the dehydrator I'm using. It's a Presto right here. And I'm gonna set this on. I don't know how far I can bring this over. Guess not very far. So I'll bring it, I'll bring it to you. It's right there. Bring it back just a little bit more and bring it up just a little bit. And let me turn it around so you can see. Right there, it's the food dehydrator. Okay, I'm gonna start it. Okay, folks, I just went and picked some more dandelions and we're gonna end this up with a dandelion vinegar. I've just washed them off, that's why you see they're all wet. And I'm gonna put them in a bottle with some apple cider vinegar. And I'm also, after when I get done doing that, I'm gonna put it in a, in a dark spot for about six weeks. And what I'm gonna do, I'll see if you guys can see me push this in. Maybe I need to scoot over a little more. Just like this. Yeah, you can see it better. Is I'm just sticking the um, dandelions in and I have a chopstick to help me. Just go like this, just push them down in there. No rhyme to reason. And um, some people will put the greens in here, but I'm not going to. I'm just putting the blossom heads in. Boy, some of these heads are really big. Hope everybody's having a great day. This is gonna end up my video on dandelions here. And we can move on to another herb. Oh, just got back from seeing my dad and I said, well, I'm gonna go right out and pick the dandelions and get this video done and out. So that's what I'm doing. Dandelions have so many good benefits in it, and this will be good for salads. You can drizzle a little over your salads. You can, oh, and homemade beans or just beans. Oh, yum. This will taste so good. Just drizzle over them. It'll be really yummy, yummy in this Grammy's tummy. Yeah, my dad last night, as we're put, putting these down here, he, um, had some more blood work done and he's got pneumonia. So they started him on antibiotics and uh, we're just gonna go from there, see what happens. Poor guy, he just doesn't seem to catch a break. You know, it's terrible when we all get old and we're all gonna get old one day. Yeah, Stand Alliance has so much nutrition and vitamins and so much goodness and you can do tincture and oh, just it's endless what you can do with with um, dandelions. Geez, I didn't, I guessed on how much to pick, so we'll see. I hope everybody's getting some sunshine where you're at because it's been raining off and on here. And this week, um, look out for the shout out on the end because there's a few folks. I'm not quite sure which one I'm gonna go with yet. So watch for the shout out. It will be in the clip below. And I'm also gonna try to insert a card on my dandelion bread that is so good. And also I have one for my grandmother's dandelion spread. So if you wanna Google and search that, if I can't put a card in up above. But I'm gonna to try to put a card in up here somewhere, up where everybody does it. I got it on my last video, I just didn't get it in the right place. But if not, it'll be in the description box below. I'll try to, try to put a link to the dandelion bread and to my grandmother's dandelion spread. Now that dandelion spread, you're not gonna find it anywhere. I got it, registered it through the state of Maine and I had to pay for it. And it's not quite a jelly, it's more of a spread. 
And like I said, it's really good. Ray loves it on his toast. It has like a hint of um, honey in it. And if you notice dandelions, they have a hint of honey, I think, because it's one of the first flowers that bloom and, and the bees land on. Just so good having it washed up. They're a little wet, but that's okay. It's all good. Because, you know, dandelions do attract a lot of ants and a lot of different little bugs. So it's good to wash them. Almost done here. And again, like I said, I'm using raw, unfiltered apple cider vinegar, organic. Apple cider vinegar will be good. There. Well, made a wet spot on the table. And then you need a funnel. You're gonna put it just like that. And we're just gonna shake, shake, shake. This one here has the mother in it. It's unpasteurized. Okay. Now we're gonna pour it in here. Hopefully I don't make a mess. Ooh, smell that vinegar. I love sour pickles, but I don't know why I just can't do stinky stuff anymore. The older I get, the worse I get. That's scary. And if you are using a cap for like you um, do for canning, it will rust. You need to put a filter or a cheesecloth or something. I'm using this plastic stopper. And how mine goes is just like that. Whoops. Just like that, and it pushes down. There you have it, isn't that beautiful? So we'll be back in six weeks and we'll check it out and see what it looks like. So if you like this video, please give me thumbs up. You never know what's gonna be on my videos. Have a great day, God bless. Hope to see you tomorrow, bye now. There's a few here on the dehydrated tray that's not quite dry. I have a fan going above, so I'm just gonna let the fan run. These are the buds here with the flower tops and greens, and this here is just the flower tops.